Planet Zogo by Gus Regalo, illustrated by Remy Simard. Target Vocabulary Cage Jaula Confused Confundido Control Control Ordinary Común Sensible Razonable Suspiciously Sospechosamente Training Entrenamiento Upset Molesto Target strategy Infer Predict Use clues to figure out more about story parts Genre A fantasy is a story that could not happen in real life. Jason had lived on the planet Zogo for a year, but now he was ready to go back to Earth. He missed his home, and he wanted to see his family. He had not seen a living creature all year. Jason gathered a few plants to take back to Earth. He turned to say goodbye to the dry, dusty planet Zogo, and then stepped inside his ship. As he stored the plants inside the spaceship, Jason saw a small shape in the corner. The shape was green, and it was breathing. Hello there! Jason said. The little body uncurled and jumped up. Hello, it said. My name is Zenon. My name is Jason. I am the captain of this spaceship, said Jason. You're the captain? Zenon asked. You're the person in control? Are you going to Earth? Engines rumbled deep inside the ship. It was almost time for takeoff. I'm sorry, but you'd better go, Jason said. No, Sinan cried. I want to go to Earth too. Jason smiled and shook his head. I'm sorry, but I don't think that's possible, Sinan said. Please, sir, my people left Zogo. They flew away to a distant planet. My pet and I were left behind by mistake. We have been so very lonely here on Zogo. Zenon held up the tiny cage and handed it to Jason. An animal that looked like a furry monkey heard inside it. Jason looked at the pet suspiciously. Zenon said, his name is Zaggy. He has had good training. Look, he can juggle. Zaggy juggled three colorful balls. Another spaceship will be coming soon, Jason said. When they arrive, you will not be so lonely. Zenon became upset. He said, I want to come to Earth now. Zenon pulled his pet out of the cage. He put it on Jason's lap. Then he said, Please, kind captain, can we go to Earth with you? Saggy is very friendly. Jason looked at Zenon and Saggy. It would not be sensible for you to come to Earth. What would you do there? he asked. Zenon said, I have wanted to visit Earth for such a long time. The people of Zogo know all about Earth. We have studied it through our telescopes and have heard stories from explorers. The engines rumbled louder. Please, sir, 
I want to go to school on earth. I want to learn to read and write earth words. Then I will return to my people and teach them. Jason asked, How old are you? I am 20, Zenon said. Jason was confused. Zenon said, On Zogo, we begin school at age 21 and we live to be 500 years old. Jason was amazed. Scientists on Earth would want to know about Zenon and his people. If we teach you about Earth, asked Captain Jason, will you teach us about the planet Zogo? Yes, Zenon said happily. Okay, you can go with me, Jason said, but I have to warn you, it takes a year to get there. I know a shortcut, Zenon said. He pointed to a space map and said, you enter this black hole here, turn left and then turn right. We'll be there in 10 minutes. Jason was shocked. Everyone on Zogo knows the way to Earth, Zenon said. We also found a way to watch your TV shows. That is how I learned to speak English. Jason sent a message to Earth and the ship took off. When they arrived, many people were waiting to greet them. There were scientists and news reporters with cameras. A special car picked up Zenon, Zaggy, and Captain Jason. Everyone wanted to talk to Zenon. Soon, Zenon began to go to school. He wanted to be an ordinary student, so he played kickball and ate pizza for lunch. The other students were very happy to meet him and asked him lots of questions. Zenon made many new friends, and he wasn't lonely anymore. The End